Well, here I am at work, uh, just leaving the place here. Uh, oh, of course, I ain't got my boat done yet or anything, so uh, that wasn't much I could do. But uh, they they were short on deck hands today, so uh, they uh, they called me in, and I come over here get my pay. I only made six bucks. I worked for. Uh, I worked for about 10 hours Got six bucks But at least it's under the table I didn't get taxed on it And I'll tell you Deck cannons don't get paid all that well But uh Gotta do what I gotta do I, you know, gotta keep my foot in the door there I really wanna be a A sea captain for Long John Silver's I know sometimes you got to start at the bottom work your way up now. I really need to be fair about uh, Working for Long John Silver's today uh, I, I got more than just six dollars. They gave me all the all the calamari I could eat for free and I thought Ooh, that sounded like a deal because it looks like onion rings Let me tell you buddy. It ain't no onion rings bite into that SOB and it's more like a bungee strap like a like a big fat rubber band it's like deep fried breaded deep fried rubber bands and uh, the taste wasn't that far off of that either now the breading I'll, I'll tell you what the breading is good it's nice it's got some spices in it it's pretty good uh, what calamari actually is, if you don't know, is it's shrimp. And uh, the shrimp, I've only had shrimp a few times in my life, and every time that I had it, I didn't like it. And the reason I didn't like it wasn't the taste, it was that toughness. It's, it's like chewing on a piece of chicken gristle or something. And it's got a slight fishy taste to it. I don't think it has a whole lot of taste. Sort of just a slight sort of fishy taste. Uh, I would say that if it were something really tender and easy to eat, that it, I'd probably say it was a very good thing. I'd probably enjoy it, like it. But for as chewy as it is, for as tough as it is, it just isn't enough taste. Uh, so you bite into one of these things, you taste that the spices of the breading, that's good. You taste that little bit of fishiness, but it's actually is pretty good too. But then you start chewing on this seemingly piece of rubber band, and uh, you're trying to break it in half or something with your teeth. It just don't want to work with you, and pretty soon the flavor is all gone, and now you just got what seems to be hunks of rubber in your mouth. You're trying to chew them up enough to swallow. I'll tell you what, I, they, they gave me all the calamari I could eat. You know how much that was? Four. I ate four little onion ring sized pieces of that calamari squid bull crap. And I have to tell you, the taste is good when you first bite into them. But when you take that first few bites, it's good. Then, you know, like I said, it's like a tasteless ass, big ass rubber band in your mouth, real thick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. about three or four of those, and, and my jaw hurts from trying to chew the damn thing. And, uh, so, yeah, I didn't get much of a meal out of that either. I hope it's not calamari every time. Jeez, uh, just about everything else they have is, is better than that. But, uh, well, you know, that's how it is. Uh, just keep on rolling with the punches. I got to do what they ask me to do because I'm afraid I won't get hired if I can turn them down. Uh, so, man, I hope I don't have to go be a deck hand tomorrow. Now, it wasn't that hard of work. Uh, we had these big lines. I don't even know what the hell we was doing exactly. I, I, but I, I can tell you this. There were these big long fishing lines and they all had hooks in them and uh, we had what they called a chum bucket and looked like I don't know little pieces of squid is what it looked like and uh, you put the little pieces of squid on the hook 
and then move on to the next hook. And then the guy beside me takes him after I get the big long rope of hooks all baited up. He takes him over to the other side of the uh, watercraft there, and uh, I don't, I don't know. I suppose I throw him in the water. I, I guess I didn't, I couldn't see that. I was too busy doing what I was doing on my side of the ship. And it, I don't know. It's, it's a dirty, stinky job, but uh, you know, I realize, like I said, you gotta probably start at the very bottom and work your way up to sea captain. And uh, and I'm willing to do that. That's how I did that in my last career. And that's how I made it to the top. Started at the very, very bottom. Hell, I was lower than the bottom. So now, I guess maybe that's what I have to do. Luckily, you know. Once in a while, uh, they're short of deck can, so I don't have to have a boat to have a job. But uh, uh, not all the time, anyway. But they're really rushing me. They're like, "You need to hurry up, get your boat done, to get you out here on the on the lake, high seas of Ohio, and uh, fish for calamari and squid, and octopus, and quail, and Jack Russell." And, uh, oh, I don't know what else, carp, tilapia, and uh, some kind of spunkin' and goldfish. I don't know what to use all that for. Perch, uh, crabfish, lobsters, crayfish. Oh, geez, just all kinds of stuff. Catfish, oh, they love when they get catfish. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, I'm just doing what I'm told, hoping I can progress quickly. Yeah, I tell you what, it's hard, hot ass, wet work. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll update you if anything new happens. Oh, my good Lord, land sakes alive. Sitting here in traffic. Oh, man. You people probably, you people probably didn't even know we had more than three cars in Ohio, huh? Yeah, I got a few. I'm sitting here waiting for lights at like a five or six or eight point thing. But anyway, oh, here we go. So anyway, uh, yeah, just uh, still going on about today, trying to get things done. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit of fishing, uh, but I've been worked as a deckhand uh, all yesterday. I don't know. Uh, I still want to go fishing. It's odd. I shouldn't probably want to go fishing, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I really wish my boat was going. Oh, God. I really got to. That's what I want to do. I'm not going to go fishing. I'm go home. I'm going to work on the boat. I'm going get, to get ready to, to put her on the high sea. It's going to be a while. I know. I know. I know. It's going to be a while. I, I got a lot of stuff to buy, a lot of things to put on her, make her nice and everything. That's life. But anyways, I finally made it out here on the old 77. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, put all this video prepared and uh, pay more attention to my drive. And so uh, I'm hoping you guys are having a a wonderful, wonderful end of the week. Uh, so anyway, we'll see y'all later. You have a good one out there, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Probably the next video. Maybe. Or talk to myself. Someone will definitely be getting a talking to. Whoa! I gotta go! Oh, I do. One of the things that I really love about staying at night at the clubhouse is the sound of the trains. The 10.30. Listen.